following video is going to show you how to make an invisible button in Flash. So why would you make an invisible button? Basically, let's say you want to click on something, but it's not a button, like it's a movie clip or something else. Or let's say in the beginning of a movie, when you say click anywhere on the screen to continue, um, that clicking anywhere on the screen has to be a button. So let's actually do that. Let's just, I'm going to create some text. I'm, I'm just going to say click anywhere to continue. And I'm not going to make this pretty. I'm not even going to center it. I'm just going to keep it like this. But I want to make a button that clicks that when they click anywhere, they can go to the next frame or keyframe or movie clip or whatever it is. Go to the next website or whatever it may be. So to create a new button, I'm simply going to go to insert, new symbol, make sure button is selected, and I can enter a name if I want to. I might call this something like invis button, just so that I know it's my invisible button. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to come to my button screen, which we should be familiar with from our last videos. Up, over, down, hit. Okay, now to create an invisible button, I actually don't put anything in up, over, down. I only put something in hit. I right click, I go to insert keyframe, and you can see that these are all blank. And what I'm going to do is in my hit box, I'm going to draw a shape. I can do a square, a circle, or whatever. I'm going to do a square for this example just to make it easy. Draw a square and that's it. I'm going to go back to scene one, which we do from the upper left hand corner. Now I'm going to take a look at my library. If it's not open, it's control L or in window, you can make sure the library is open. Go to my library and voila, I see invisible button. I'm going to create a new layer because I always do that whenever I'm adding anything new to the screen. And I'm going to drag my invisible button onto the screen. Now look what it looks like. It's, it's blue. It's a turquoise bluish color. That means it's invisible. Now I want it to fill up the whole entire screen. So I'm going to right click and select free transform. And I'm just going to make it the whole screen. Actually I'm not going to make it the whole screen just so I can show you that it is a button. I'm just going to make it like that for now. I can, I can change the size and I could add multiple of these. So I only need to create one invisible button and I can keep adding them to the screen. Um, we're just going to keep it like this for now. So let's play our movie. I didn't put any actions on this. Obviously you need to put an action on the button just like we did in our other video to make it do something. But for now I'm just showing you how to make the button. Let's test it. Alright, watch what happens to my cursor. See how my cursor has changed? It's recognizing it as a button. Now notice how we didn't put it all the way over on the right. So see the cursor change? Flash recognizes my invisible button. And that's it. That's making an invisible button in Flash.